Hello, and welcome to this month's heat line video vlog. Today, we are going to talk about how long you should leave roof heating cables on for. Normally, when we get this question, it's because people want to talk about the best way to monitor your energy efficiency. Heatline products are self-regulating, which means that they increase heat output with cold microscopically at every point along the circuit length. Conversely, and often more importantly, they decrease heat output with warmth. Therefore, if you are not using a snow control system or sensor, you can leave your heating cables on trusting that our products will do their part to prevent ice damming and roof de-icing issues. It is important to note that even though these heating cables are self-regulating, they're still using energy when plugged in. Manually turning your cables on and off is okay and will not damage the cables, but it is not the right way to monitor your energy efficiency, especially when dealing with systems that are of longer length. For further consideration of energy efficiency, we recommend pairing your product with a controller to operate in conjunction with the self-regulating heating cables. An example of a controller would be the PD Pro Automatic Snow and Ice Melting Controller for roof, gutters, and downspouts in commercial and residential environments. Roof de-icing is not an exact science. How long you should leave your heating cables on for will vary from application to application, as well as environmental factors at the time. The purpose is to provide a melt water path. You need to make sure you are leaving your heating cables on an adequate amount of time. The greater risk is not leaving it on long enough versus having it on too long. We hope you found this month's video blog helpful. We will continue to release a new video blog monthly, so make sure you stay up to date by signing up for our newsletter, subscribing to our YouTube channels, or following any of our social media pages. Thanks for watching.